so in general right now the dogs and their routines have been extremely disturbed and you need to realize that the environment around them is changing so you need to realize that do not upset their routine as much as possible let's say you were taking them out for walks three times a day maybe you can make it smaller and shorter walks but do take them out three times a day uh, let's say you were feeding them three times a day again keep the feeding to the same maybe you can reduce the feeding quantity by about 10 to 15 percent because their exercise or their physical activities are limited to indoors if you have a really really old dog then i would suggest get doing a lot of physical activity indoors because most of us have smooth floors and marble tiles and that's not the best for any old dog who most of the time might have arthritis or might start having initial signs of arthritis so it's not really good for their bones and joints so if you have a small terrace with rough flooring or a garage or a parking lot maybe you can do limited amounts of slow physical exercises with them uh, but you if you have an extremely hyper dog energetic puppy or a, a young adult dog and they need a lot of physical space and exercise and they constantly need a lot of attention then I would suggest give them uh, treat balls or toys that you can stuff with treats or some kind of you know engaging chew bones that are good for their health so you can give them a small treasure hunt hide treats or some other biscuits or any other sort of things or toys around the house create a small little scent trail for them or just play tugging games with them training is a good way to kind of you know burn off a lot of their energy so try to look up some youtube videos on home training your dog so try to train your dog or older dog or puppy and believe me just a few minutes of training will definitely give them a lot of exercise and mental uh, you know workout that they would need uh, otherwise if you have a closed street a safe street which you can walk down on so try, try to take them to the parking lot uh, or in around the garden area where they can get a lot of scent a lot of feedback from the environment uh, that will lighten up their you know mood and give them a refreshed feeling because they're taking in a lot more sense of smells sounds and the environment uh, is a little refreshing so it activates a lot of their um, you know neural receptors and gives them a little bit of an endorphin rush and short slow walks are much much better than long fast walks so at least they get to slow down use their senses otherwise they're just purely driven by energy and adrenaline rather if you let them sniff around the tires of the cars or if you let them sniff around the gardens around the street side just let them infuse their mind infuse their body with different smells and sounds let them take their surroundings in let them explore and that will calm them down a lot more than just doing a short brisk walk just for their pee and potty so of course please follow social distancing measures and hygiene standards when you are out with them mm -hmm.